Hi all. We're going to do another visual basic here. So we'll come down here and we'll start Visual Studio. So we'll create a new project here. Visual Basic, Windows, Windows Form Application. We'll just create this, we'll make this a little bigger so you can see so you can see it and just for this example we're going to try to keep it simple button and a text box we went over these last time so uh, just as a review you click the form you see form properties you click text box you see text box property you click the button you see button properties okay so we're gonna double click the button and that creates this function here. Uh, don't worry so much if you don't really follow this yet. We, we really haven't covered it yet. But uh, getting started with Visual Basic, there's really no way around it. So it, It's what we write inside here is what we're really after now. Okay, so we're, we're going to use dim. Dim creates a variable dim so we're, we're saying to the we're saying to visual basic create a variable okay now we have to give it some information we have to give the the variable a name you can type in anything there you can it doesn't have to be total it can be any name and now it's kind of given us a hint that it wants more information here so as, as, as what? We're saying create a variable, we give it the name total, but what is it? You know, on earth, as far as I know, we only have letters, <coughs> letters and numbers. So it can either be a letter or a number, right? Uh, a fancy word for a number is a integer. Uh, every language calls these things a little different, but they all have ints. Some call them int, int, in Visual Basic we have integers. So we create, we create a variable with them named total. And total is going to hold an integer. Uh, I think dim stands for dimension. But it really doesn't matter what it stands for. It just we use dim to create a variable. Now, next we have to do something with that variable. Uh, we can go back to the de we can go back to the design design mode. Click on the text box. We get text box properties. So text box one and text properties. So text box text box one dot text. Okay, so we'll go back to the code here and we'll say text te text box one dot text is what? is equal to total okay so that's a real simple one uh, we can build it no errors and then we can run it Here's our, here, 
particular app and you can see we didn't set total equal t to nothing one two three if we press this button though we still get a zero so integers auto are automatically set to zero that's one of the cool things about visual basic uh, just to build on this a little bit so you we have something to check out here we can, we can go dim num1 as integer and then we'll go dim num2 as integer We'll go ahead and move this up here. And then we have to do something with those. We'll say uh, num1 is equal to 10. Num2 is equal to 20. And we'll say total is equal to zero. So what we're doing there is just we're just giving vet values to these to these uh, variables. Um, num one is equal to ten. Num two is twenty. And then for total, we're just clearing total. We're making sure that it's a zero. No, it's not going to get some junk numbers that are left over from some place. You know. Okay, now we have to do we have to do some math here. So total equals num one plus num two, and you can see it can tell that we've got an error here. That's why we've got that red squiggly line there. So no, no, num one. <clears throat> okay, so we create three variables. Give the three variables a, a number. And do some math. See how this is kind of back backwards. You know, we're used to the equal sign on the right right hand side. So num1, add num2, and then store the new number in total. And then take to take that number and put it in the text box. Okay. So you can build it. No errors. And then we can run it. P press the button and we get 30. Okay. So dim just creates a variable. That's uh, real common to visual basic. Okay. See ya. Bye.